I think groan is funny. Scream is big. Right. But groan, gr a groan is funny. A groan is funny. A groan is funny. Welcome to Ophira Eisenberg, comedian, writer, radio host extraordinaire. What am I missing? Uh, let's see. I'm also a mom. That's a job. Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. I'm putting you in a tough spot because everyone knows nothing makes comedy better than explaining it. <laughs> I know, I know. And there's, it's always the greatest thing when someone is like, let me explain the joke to you. It's like, <laughs> Given that, uh, I wanted to talk to you, a professional and master of your craft, about the decisions that you make in terms of the words you choose. I guess we'll just start here. A joke involving Beyond Burger. You know, Beyond Burger, it, that was just a product that fascinated me when I started reading about it, when it hit the market, because one thing about Beyond Burger that supposedly makes it tasty is that when you cut it, it bleeds like meat. Okay, everybody? Which makes perfect sense to me because I've known a lot of vegetarians and vegans over the years who have said to me, you know, Afira, it's not the meat that I miss so much. It's the murder. If only, if only when I bit into a mushroom, it would groan and splurt a little blood, you know? If only I could watch an artichoke heart stop. When I was writing this joke, you know, I had the beginning part together and I have, I have so many iterations of this joke, but really, I was first trying to go with the idea, or it's a different product, Impossible Burger. And I loved the words Impossible Burger because there was so much fun to be had with that. That's a terrible name. No food should be impossible. I want to eat food that has a chance. You know, I wanted to do all these riffs on Infeasible Burger and Improbable Burger and Unrealistic Burger, but I found in the room, people weren't as familiar with Impossible Burger as they were with Beyond Burger. So then Beyond Burger, I was like, fine, we'll go with Beyond Burger, all of that stuff, trash, as you do in comedy. And then it came down to what vegetables should I pick that a vegetarian or a vegan might wish uh, they could have a, uh, a murderous kind of relationship with when they were eating. Mushroom, I was always into. Mushroom, I think, is inherently kind of a funny... Fungus tends to be funny, let's be honest. <laughs> sure, I'll buy that. Fungi is funny. Then I was like, do you go specific with the mushroom? They always say, you know, it, specifics really bring something alive. So did I want to go with a button mushroom? Did I want to go with a cremini mushroom? Cremini almost has that K sound, which, you know, as we know in joke telling, as we've heard over the years, a hard K sound can really elevate uh, the delivery of a joke because people love those hard consonant sounds. I had this version of it and I'm reading, I have all, all these sheets. I basically, ugh, my process is fraught. I type things up, print them out, and then write on them. So that's not enough steps. That's good, it's mixed media. <laughs> That's mixed media. So originally I had, I'd be so much more, like, I'd be so much, I had the vegetarian speaking, so I had, like, I'd be so much more into this mushroom if when I stabbed it, it screamed and blood splurted everywhere. But then it became economy of words. That was a lot of words, which is fine, it caused something, but I wanted it to go quicker. I thought of a little mushroom, and I thought of what a little mushroom would do. <laughs> and I thought groan would be a little bit subtler and have a different... And groan, I think groan is funny. Scream is big. Right. But groan, gr a groan is funny. A groan is funny. A groan is funny. And for me particularly, and this sometimes works against me, I liked that it didn't sound like the first choice. As a comic, I wanted to sound like this is not the first choice in all of my audience's heads. They would have to do a little bit of work and that would cause a pain. So I was like, let's stick with mushroom. Groaning and splurting blood is a lot right now <laughs> to put together. So originally I put, I want a celery to scream because I liked the idea of celery and scream. You know, it kind of has this celery scream, but it didn't really pop in the room. And so then I was thinking about vegetables with hearts. <laughs> so I started with romaine heart. Maybe a romaine heart is too highfalutin. I was out grocery store shopping and I was looking at all the vegetables. What's, what's the funniest vegetable here? 
zucchini, <laughs> but I can't do anything with zucchini. <laughs> zucchini doesn't have any parts, <laughs> really. Doesn't have any parts, right? I, I guess I could say I wish what I bit into is eat, but you don't just bite it; you would slice it. You know, it's also the prep of the food. Yeah, I think if you just bite into a zucchini, they just send you straight to jail. It's not not acceptable behavior. You want something that doesn't distract people into having a a beat in their mind where they're like, what is that again? So you kind of want to go with something just that hits people common, they completely understand, but has a little bit of a twist or a misdirection or, or a fun uh, a fun addition to it. So yeah, I was looking in a grocery store and I was like, oh, artichoke, got to hit that K sound. I think in improv, even though I didn't take a lot of improv because I was just bad at it, there's this idea of like another choice, a fresher choice. So that's that's the sweet spot for me. You don't distract your audience with having to think too much, but it's not the most obvious choice. Anything anything you're working on now that people might be interested in, in, in looking up? I, uh, recorded a new comedy album and it, it comes with a special something you can also watch a video as they say and it's called uh, plant-based jokes wow all right wow really really <laughs> bring it all back home <laughs> exactly yeah it's my brain These jokes they are not impossible <laughs> exactly they are not improbable they are they are just very very undeniable <laughs>